Today we're talking about Inventory++. This is one of our early apps that has evolved into something that we perhaps haven't even anticipated ourselves. Um, you know, it got started as a project that helped merchants to automatically create the item when they didn't have one during the checkout so they wouldn't slow down the line. And that was the first functionality that was available on Inventory++. It still is. Today we've announced the ability to split EBT approved payments versus not EBT approved payments um, where items you know that are not allowed to be processed with EBT will go into the other uh, part of the split. Uh, again this facilitates for faster checkout for the type of businesses that have perhaps items that you know cross the line into the not approved for EBT like alcohol tobacco. Uh, speaking of those that's another part of the functionality for the inventory plus plus is the ability to handle the tobacco scan data reporting. Um, there are requirements for the tobacco scan data that inventory app on Clover natively cannot handle. So inventory plus plus handle allows us to handle those requirements that are coming from the scan data folks at Altria or Reynolds, by the way. And we also have released functionality on the web. Um, that I will be covering today as well. Uh, so this is also help with our scan data program. So as you can see, the focus here is mostly on that type of a business that handles uh, products that can be paid for with EBT. That's obviously food uh, and also handles products that cannot be paid with EBT. That's tobacco and alcohol. So let's take a look. Inventory++ Plus Plus is completely integrated with the regular Clover inventory app. And so as soon as you install it and all of your items will automatically get loaded into the Inventory++ Plus Plus app. And you can see uh, that the form or, or the feel for it is fairly similar. So let me quickly go to the settings. Um, and so this is what I want to cover today. Product information management, workflow automation, Altria scan data settings, Reynolds scan data settings, and the EBT settings. So let me go from backwards forward, right? EBT settings allows you to automatically, uh, let me see, it's turned on and I have some items in there. Uh, let me show you what it does. So it's already turned on. When you go into the register app and you grab meat, which is EBT approved item, um, See how it, it right away pre-splits it and says this is an EBT item. And then when you go into tobacco and you say, I got Marlboro, and that's not an approved EBT item, so that's pre-split. When you go into pay, um, it says, hey, you know, your items are split. You got to go into the guest, split by guest, right? So split by guest, you can select EBT, pay for that, and so on. So... This really speeds up your checkout process, and that's kind of the idea, right? So that's EBT. Let me go back here again. Um, Reynolds scan data settings. So basically, all you're doing here is just setting up items that are Reynolds, right? So Reynolds is a manufacturer of tobacco products, and here you would basically select and identify your inventory um, to us as items that are specific to Reynolds. Um, same thing with Altria Group. And like I said, this is tobacco scan data related stuff. Workflow automation, this is a way to uh, automatically create an item if you scan it and it's not in your inventory. You know, it will um, create the item, give it whatever name you create here. You can predefine, you know, its category, its labels, its modifiers, its tax settings. And so what happens is when you create, when you scan a, a barcode of an item, I don't want to turn this on right now. When you scan, when, when you scan, when you scan the barcode of an item that you don't have, instead of taking you to the add item screen, it will automatically add the item and will allow you to continue to check out. But the item will have a generic name, and so that's kind of the you know the automation part. And product information management is just the ability to um, you know manage custom screens. So I was doing some testing here. Let me delete this one. Um, let me delete that one. And so, you know, your inventory uh, in Clover has a certain amount of fields, and that's it. What if you need another field like uh, factory code? I don't know, code, for example, right? And that field can be, 
either text, numeric, date, uh, yes or no, drop down, or radio selection. And then um, let's go ahead and leave it at, you know, it needs to be minimum two, maximum five. And let's say that it's, you know, optional. Um, and then you can just add that field. And so there it is. You have that field added. Let me go ahead and save this. And now you'll notice that when I open this item, uh, factory code, there's my field. And basically that's the ability to, ent uh, to pr manage the product information. That's what we mean by that. And the next thing that I'm going to cover is the web interface. All right, so the web part functionality of the inventory plus plus has to do with ability to quickly manage the information of the items, specifically for the tobacco scan data. Again, it's a very limited scope of what this app does. Uh, by no stretch of imagination that this can be considered a, a full-fledged inventory management system. Um, and so basically here you are on your web um, dashboard and you navigate to an app called Inventory++, Plus Plus, like so. And that op opens the web interface. Uh, let me move myself over here real quick. Um, so you have ability to search for items, uh, to clover like that, I don't know, four, three, two, like that. So you also have ability to, you know, sort by fields. Um, you can see items that are set up, you know, for your Altria. Uh, these are scan data program and these are your categories, basically. And uh, you can filter it. Uh, you, can you can export this data into different formats and uh, you can add a new item and see the whole entire screen, you know, uh, here. But basically what we're doing with this is, you know, if this were tobacco products, right? So, and you have them selected as Altria and you've selected all of the items, you have this edit selected items field. And this allows you to mass edit uh, all everything that you just got selected, 123 items. You can reassign their categories. You can change their labels. You can change their, uh, you know, choose it as, you know, change it. Uh, you can uh, modify the uh, manufacturer's name, unit of measure, and the individual consumable units. And these are the pieces of information that are required for the tobacco scan data. And so you can easily modify, you know, a big chunk of the data uh, at the same time. If the manufacturer name is Altria for everything, then, you know, Altria like this. And that's it. Now, all of your items um, here, Let's take a uh, category, yeah. And so we have our Altria category. There it is. Basically, that's how this works. And so this is the web interface for the inventory plus plus. Uh, and again, the primary focus for us was to satisfy the requirements for the tobacco scan data program. Okay.